Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to create an action for the perfect skin using the high pass method, not the Gaussian blur. So, in the previous video, if you watched it, I'm going to show you in this step how to create that action for that one. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that you can go back and take a look at it. Hope you like it, and then you can come back and jump in this one to go ahead and create an action for those steps and make it easier so that every single time you can. You're going to do a retouching of a photo. You can just press a couple of keys and you don't have to recreate all those steps. So you're going to go ahead and open your actions. On, the, on mine, I have it right here on the right hand side. If you don't have it right here, you can always go up to the, uh, the window and you can actually just basically bring it up. Once you do that, as you can see, I already have it right here. But you can always basically come down here and create a new action. You can give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and type perfect skin two. Now, this is very important when you create an action. You actually have to give it a function key. In this case, you can always use F4, F5, or something like that, depending on your preference. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it like an F5. Uh, actually, F5 already have it used on the previous one. We're going to use F6. And then you can use whatever uh, uh, combination of keys that you want. We're going to go um, for me. I'm going to go ahead and do shift command plus F6. So basically, it will actually activate this uh, action. We're going to go ahead and hit record. And then we can go ahead and start. We're going to go ahead and duplicate the layer. Right click. And I go ahead and click copy. Then we're going to go ahead and invert the image on my computer. My Mac will be command I or control I. Once that is go ahead and completed, we can go ahead and move over here to the uh, layers mode, and we're going to change it to a bit, bit light. Once is that is completed, we can go ahead and move up to filter, other, high pass, and go ahead and type 16. My preference, you can change it, play around with it. I'm going to hit OK. Once that's completed on my computer, which I have the Mac, I'm going to go ahead and hit the option key. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask because we want to mask the the layer once it's masked we can go ahead and select our brush we can and make sure that you have white you can always if you have it backwards you can make sure you hit it again and it's gonna actually gonna remember that so once it's white then you're ready to go. You have your brush and you can go ahead and hit stop. Boom. You're all done. So we're going to go ahead and throw away the layer. So we can test it. We're going to select the selection tool. And we're going to go ahead and close it out. And we're going to select it. And we're going to hit play. And boom. There it is. And once I select my brush, I can start painting. Again, don't forget to, to play around with the opacity to see how much you actually want uh, detail to be gone or to be darker, lighter, lighter. It's all up to you. But again, if you want to do the combination of keys, instead of hitting, basically going up here, for my computer, I set it up as Shift, Command, F6. And there it is. Basically, it brings it right up. As you can see, the brush is selected, I have it on white, and I can go ahead and start. Again, don't forget the opacity. The higher you increase it, the more it's going to look. As you can see, it's just a little bit too much. So your own personal preference, you can play around with it and just get it to your liking. Again, hope you liked the video. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple more videos. Hopefully you enjoy on how to do other stuff uh, with a healing brush how to get like a specific glow for a couple of pictures when you do that outside weddings or outdoors. And I, I just hope you guys like it. 